afternoon, friends. Tuesday today. Tuesday already. How good is that? I did a recording yesterday after I finished with the chicken stock, making the chicken stock and the, the quick tea. I did a, a recording, well, I did a filming of the water filter, how, to, how it went together. It was so easy. Then I had five and a half hours of trying to get my first video from my phone to my laptop. It just wasn't playing ball yesterday. So I was fiddling with that for about five and a half hours. Finally got it onto the laptop. By the time I got it on, I didn't have the mental strength, the capacity to start editing. So I just uploaded it to YouTube as it was. <sighs> that were a nightmare. So then I went to the water one that I'd done so that I could upload that and schedule it for today. Not there. Not there. My phone really fell out with me yesterday. It just wasn't playing. So I'm really sorry about that. I don't have the water one for you, but I will show it you. And uh, just very quickly go through it. I don't have any affiliate links with the company. I don't have anything to do with the company. I just We just purchased this because we wanted one. I'm really glad we did purchase it. The water is lovely. I'm so thrilled with it that I've been drinking water all day. I can't bag, can it? So I'll just show it you very quickly now, just while we, before we do anything else today. That is the water bottle, the tap there. I don't know if you, I'm showing you this properly. Let me get my glasses on so I can see what I'm actually doing. Excuse my sink, it needs a right good clean, don't it, my sink board. Right, so, really nice. I might change that tap for a metal one. But that is my British Birkfield or Birkfeld, whatever it is. The Americans have a Birky, which used to be actually English. It all used to be the same company. And... It's all different now but i'm really glad i've got that very easy to use just pour it in the top it filters through to the bottom and it's ready to go let's put that sink down after right i did make the chicken stock yesterday but i've just left it so i can show you the next stage all i do it's cooled down now as well i just sieve it through you can sieve it through a couple of times if you want i don't bother oh, can you see what i'm doing there not sure if you can. Um, this tripod is really, really rubbish. Anyway, we're just going to sieve this now. Again, sorry if you're queasy when it comes to things like this. Like, well, well it's cut me, but you know what I mean. So all that beautiful stock now. I will get some more out of that. We'll go into my oops the daisies. Away. Oh, hey. Everything's falling on me today. That'll go in there. It'll be real gelatinous with that as well. I'm very thrilled with it. It's really good for you. I'll use that to cook pasta. I'll put it in sauces, I'll put it in gravy. I'll use it all week for all sorts of things. The rest of that can now be saved. Sorry if you don't like me, guys. I really, I know some people can be really queasy, can't they? I'm just going to, now I think you could get another lot of stock out of this. I, I know you could. There's still some goodness in there. to wash for later that will be used today as well i'll show you how in a minute so i put it in the fridge that is homemade chicken stock fab and you'll also i'm really pleased with that it seems to get better and better every week i will do yogurt with you in this instant pot and all it's so easy to make your own yogurt fabulous 
I'm just going to pop that to one side and I'll clean all that up later. I'll tell you for why. I would like to get on with this um, instant pot tea tonight. So because that is a fresh stock, and I'm going to use some of this fresh stock. I'm not washing that out because it's the stock I've just made, so it's really good for you. What's in there now? Not touching it. So, oh, trying to use these glasses. I broke my glasses today. I've broken my glasses. So I'm going to use these rubbish cheap reading glasses from Pound Shop. Can't see a thing. I can't. I just don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> They're millions. They were a veg rack over the shelf, the tray, whatever I called it yesterday. So I could do with. I could do it in some chopping, couldn't I? I should have had all this prepared, shouldn't I, people? I should have been a bit more together. And a bit more organised. I did forget to pick up some courgettes from... You really can't see that, can you? Let's bring you down. Let's bring you down here. Let's get up close and personal. There you go. I mean, let's be honest, you know how to chop an onion. And I'm sure you do it better than me. I'm just going to grab the bag. And I'm just going to put my honey and peel in this bag so I can put it in the freezer. Oh, it's so much goodness. So many vitamins in honey and peel. But you can, especially if it's organic, just wash the skins. Pop them in a cup, a mug, pour some boiling water over it. And you've got a nice onion tea. And believe you me, it doesn't taste of onion. Now, if you just put the skins in and it takes out all, that, all the vitamins from the from the onion seep into the warm water, the hot water. Oh, it's so good for you. I drink onion tea a lot. I love it. Just onion skin. Really good for you. So that will go in the freezer and then when I come to peel carrots, anything like that, courgettes, anything like that, I will add it to the back, put it back in the freezer. Then on another week when I come to do a chicken or whatever, I'll make some stock with it. Just make a vegetable stock wrong with that right so that end bit is going in look at that skin in the bag and then she's a little uh, only very as you can see i only have a very real roughly chop on the end thing. it's a spaghetti bolognese or something like that so i'm doing today bolognese You don't have any fresh onions you can just use onion powder like i did yesterday for the stock and garlic powder or the lazy garlic is absolutely fine as well nothing wrong with that now then olive oil oh my eyes are watering like mad now they are strong little bit of olive oil i don't need a lot because of that, the left, what's left from the chicken stock is in there and it's so good. So good. I keep saying that, I know, but it really is. And then, I'm just going to pop, I vacuum sealed this minced beef from pork last week. It's defrosted nicely now. Got it out of the freezer this morning. So I'm just going to pop this minced meat in here. There we go. Pop it on saute. Give me a sec to wash my hands. I'm terrible. I'm, well, it's not terrible. It's good, but whenever I'm cooking, I'm like washing my hands every two minutes. I'm glad I'm so, so my hands all the time. So they always ain't washing under the tap. So the bottom. Yours might be different. I don't know if you can see. Pop you. 
that's a saute there and I'll just have it on normal for about 15 minutes that should be enough just to brown the mints that's in there you can see all that yummy goodness from the stock that I've made oh that's lovely it's lovely that so that's going to get sauteed it will get a bit noisy and uh, once that's browned we'll get the rest of it done as well so this will be the equivalent of just popping it in a pan to brown it off before you put it in slow cooker which is more washing up isn't it it really is i'll show you two methods and i could have i could have left this till much later to make where are you i don't think i'm ever gonna I like that tripod whatever i do i'm never gonna like it so anyway got it now i'm not not to use it all oh, reviews were raving on it as well. But everybody was saying what a good tripod it was. Get what you pay for, don't you? So, I'm going to show you two methods on it. I'm going to show you what you'd do if you were going to pressure cook it. So, like, if I left it till late tonight, just before we be coming home, I'd just do a pressure cook and it'd be done in no time. It's half three now. So I might have to do that and just put it on a keep warm. The other alternative would be to put it on a slow cook. Like you would in any crock pot slow cooker or whatever. I think I showed you it slow cook yesterday, didn't I, for the stock. Right, so we'll do a pressure cook today and keep it on a keep warm. Is it going to be too early to have half seven and seven? But again, I'm saying that. I will. I will not mind tea earlier. I won't be able to wait that late. Celery. Get some celery done while we're waiting. Yeah, that's. Sorry if it's really loud and annoying. Put them celery ends in there. If you've got mushrooms, put mushrooms in. If you've got peppers, baby corn is another one I put in sometimes if I have it. Um, put carrot in. I like to put courgette in. I don't have any at the moment, but I do normally like to put courgette in. bolognese isn't it we all make bolognese different we all have our own way of doing bolognese sometimes i put red wine in it don't drink red wine because it makes me ill can't drink red wine but if i want a miniature bottle of red wine i'll put that in but because i don't drink red wine and i do like red wine in a bolognese i will get the red wine stock cubes from the tesco and I'll put one of them in. That's, they're really good. If you can get them, they're not always in stock where I am. Sometimes I struggle to get them. They used to do the white wine stock kids as well, but they've stopped doing them, which I'm really annoyed about. Because I used to use them a lot. Somebody who doesn't really drink often. I don't really have wine in the house for cooking because it's not something we drink. We don't. I should start drinking red wine. <laughs> not red wine, white wine. And I've always got it in. <laughs> right. That's getting me in the oily now, isn't it? So nice, right. That has nearly browned now. We all know what browned mince meat looks like. I don't need some sort of intelligence, do I? So pop those onions in. 
Now you can do it the other way around if you prefer. You can do your onions first if you want and then do your mince meat. I'm not really showing you how to make the bolognese because that's something most people make. It's more about how to use the instant pot really than making the bolognese. But just do whatever, whatever you prefer. Right, that's softened a bit now, so I'm going to pop the celery in. I'm not going to put a carrot in. I'm not too keen on having carrot in a bolognese sauce. I'm not a big fan, but a lot of three garlic cloves, or like I said before, just do minced garlic, you know the lazy garlic or the garlic powder. Go away, that we want to cook. Um, I do tend to use that more than fresh garlic. I don't often have fresh garlic in. I bought it because I want to make some cold and flu stuff. Which I can do that with you as well if you want. Let's get this garlic peeler. They never work for me. I see people using these and they work every time. There we go, it's worked now. Now, now I said it never worked, it's worked. Try again. Just take that bruise out, it's not looking very appetising. Just try and get some... See, I don't like the smell of garlic on the ends. I love garlic. I love cooking the garlic. It's not like to have a smell of garlic on my fingers. Has it worked? Has it egg? Here it is out. Let's wash my hands in cold water now. What do I want to wash them in the warm? I've got to cook the garlic. And I'll never get to smell like that for days, will I? Never get enough. Right. What am I doing? afternoon garlic um, press well and stuff. I'll just have to ouch try and chop this as far as I can or we're not eating. I don't like I don't like the marks that's left. It's a bit wrong isn't it? So I'll just have to Oh, come on. There we go. Yes, yeah, so I broke my, I've broken my glasses. They just snapped. So I've got these. I've, I mean, I've been through about three or four pairs of glasses since last August. I don't have much other glasses at all. So I've had to go back to some just like the cheap reading glasses from shop or oh, from home shop. That I was having for backup, but my eyes don't. My eyes don't like them very much. Right, that's chopped. I don't like to cook garlic for too long like this because it can burn, and then it's got a right nasty bit of taste. Then, so we'll be careful with that. I'm going to pour 
some of this in. You don't need a lot. You just want that goodness, don't you? Oh, I'll tell you what I forgot to get from my pantry. My um, tin tomatoes. I'll be back in a minute. Just uh, Talking amongst yourselves. Have a nice conversation. Two tins of tomatoes. Peeled plum tomatoes, chopped tomatoes, whatever you've got. They all mash up anyway, don't they? Now then, this is when the fun comes in. All the flavours. Do you remember the kale and spinach are dehydrated. I'm going to have let me just change that a minute to a less heat, less intense. Now then I'm going to tablespoon of kale in here, kale and spinach. Dried mushroom powder. Because I thought I haven't got any mushrooms in anyway. Everyday seasoning, Dunn's River everyday seasoning, you can get it at range or you used to be able to get it at range, two generous teaspoons, but when I went to range I couldn't find it, so I bought it from Amazon, teaspoon of oregano, A bit of beef or two, two. I'm putting two in today. Then we're gonna have. I always get itchy face when I'm doing something in the kitchen. My both my hands are, you know, wet or Italian seasoning. Where are you? A teaspoon ish, yeah, that'll do. Oh, black pepper, black pepper, don't forget the black pepper again. I've not found my ground one, but you know, when you grind in a mill, I don't know what I've done with that. Teaspoon of sugar, to level out the acidity. Give it a good stir. I wish we had smell vision because this is delish. This is delish already. I'm just going to mix it all in. And I'll show you. You can make some garlic bread to go with this if you want. That's dead easy to do. I'll do that with you another day as well. Let me just show you this nicely. Can you see that beautiful? It's good, doesn't it? Looks good. Oh, you're drunk again. Is that better? <laughs> I don't know. 
think about a tablespoon of puree. Got some more. That'll do. I don't want to keep banging it because it sounds horrible on camera, doesn't it? Oh, that's lovely jubbly. Right, what I'm going to do now, got a lot of washing up to do. I'm going to turn that saute off now by pressing cancel, okay? Put that to one side. Now then, where's my lid? You ready for it to zoom to you? You just make sure the seal is in the lid properly around the rim. Ready? I love that. It's a joy to use when it seems back at you. Bring you down here now. There we go. So we're going to press pressure cook. Now that's normal and high. If you want to change it to more or less, you just press it to wherever you want. I want it on normal. Pressure level could be low or high. I'm going to have it on high. We're cooking beef and pork. 10 minutes will do it. 10 minutes will be absolutely fine. And it will be cooked. Believe you me, it will be cooked. So then all I will do is I will just let the pressure release on its own. Once that's stopped cooking after 10 minutes, it will build the pressure up first. That's what it's doing now. If you can see, there's a P just there. It's building the pressure up right now. Once it's built up, the timer will start going. It'll be cooking now. Once that's finished cooking, I won't touch it. I will leave it alone until the pressure has gone, until it's released the pressure naturally. You will know because when there's no pressure in the, I don't know if you can see, that little disc there, when it's pressure inside the canister, this will lift up, it will raise up. When there's no pressure and it's safe to take the lid off, it's flat like that, it's gone back down again. In the, with the American ones, you have to actually check, turn the knob to seal. You don't with these, they are all ready as a safety, um, just an extra safety level. It it's, doesn't need altering, doesn't need changing. So after 10, after it's cooked for 10 minutes, the pressure will take a while to drop, probably about 15 minutes. I always leave it to come, pressure to come down on its own because you get really tender meat that way. After that, I'll just pop it on the keep warm. I'll press the keep warm button here. It'll just keep warm till it's ready to, for us to eat it. It's just a case of putting some pasta on. Grate some cheese, use some Parmesan, whatever. And that is really all there is to using the pressure cook on the instant pot. It's a really good, a good, useful tool to have in your kitchen. I don't like having the oven on very often, simply because of the cost. I'll, have a, I'll put the oven on on a Sunday when we're doing a roast dinner, a lot of the time. But also a lot of the time, I, roast my, I do my chicken in here. I'll cook the chicken in here. And then I'll just finish it off in the oven while I'm doing the potato, you know, brown it. Off in the oven while I'm brown it, roasting the potatoes. But most of the time I use this for nearly all my cooking now. And if I'm just doing something like, it's not very often we eat chips. We're not a big, we're not keen on chips, fries. But if I do make some during the week, I'll just do them in the air fryer. I won't do them in the oven. I just don't like turning the oven on. It's just so expensive, isn't it? So that's it really, people. For today, that's it. We'll do some more Instant Pot recipes, obviously, as we go along. If you have any questions, I'll pop my email address below so that you can just say, 
you've missed this, I, what, what do I do about this or whatever. But that's really all there is to it. It's such a simple um, tool to use. So I hope you're all well. I hope you're having a great Tuesday. I'm having a fantastic Tuesday. I'm enjoying me clean water. I drink bottled water anyway, but it's just going to save me a fortune not buying bottled water every week, isn't it? And it's the environment as well. We're not putting plastic bottles into the landfill, which really bothers me, even though we use recycling. We don't know where it's going after, after it's been picked up, really, do we? We can't be sure. So I'd rather not use plastic bottles if I don't have to. I like to have water in, just in case of emergencies. Or I don't really buy a bottle of water every week. I just don't like the idea of it. So I'm going to clean my kitchen up now and get tidied up, have a cup of tea and I will hopefully talk to you tomorrow. God bless and see you soon.